Hi hey everyone, this is Jay from Aeroponic Growers, and today I'm just going to quickly discuss one of our original systems uh, for true high pressure aeroponics. Uh, this is the pressurizing system before the chamber. And I just want to quickly go over, this is one of the original ways that we made our systems, and it's, it's affordable, it's loud, um, but it gives you uh, a smaller way to set things up, mainly the accumulator tank uh, is smaller. Um, but these uh, four gallon accumulator tanks, which we mainly use, are actually, because they're more readily available, are cheaper than these smaller accumulator tanks. Um, so the biggest difference with these pumps, um, or this pump in comparison to the uh, like Aquatex, Trueflows, or the pumps that we sell, or used to sell, um, is that these pumps run off of 12 volts DC. Um, so you need some kind of converter. Uh, this is just a cheap Amazon uh, AC to DC converter. So you can plug it into the wall on the AC side, then you need the DC side coming out to power the pump. The difference in this pump compared to the other pumps that have a pressure switch off of them is that you have the pressure switches inside of this pump as well the check valve is inside of this pump. So you don't need to put the check valve so it doesn't flow back and you don't need to put um, the pressure switch out here. Uh, you just need to power the pump. Uh, this one comes at 100 PSI, so once it hits 100 PSI, it'll shut off. Um, and it does that automatically for you. In the front, there are uh, an adjustment that you can use an Allen key and adjust that pressure up a little bit, down a little bit. Um, so we're gonna go from there, we're gonna suck our nutrients in, right? Where our nutrient uh, is gonna come in this way. Then we're gonna pump it out. Uh, we're going to start to fill the accumulator tank. Now remember ahead of time you need to take your accumulator tank up top here is like a bicycle tire um, Just put air in it that way you want it to pump this thing up three psi under the, the low point, right? So if this is going to go usually uh, it goes in 20 psi differentials So if this is a hundred psi where it shuts off about 80 psi is where it's going, I'm sorry, it turns, it shuts off, it's gonna turn on at 80 PSI. So this needs to be about three PSI lower than that. So I would put this at 77 PSI on the internal. So now the pump turns on, starts to suck nutrients. Uh, I'll show you this pump real quick, see flow. I didn't hook this up, sorry. Um, but this comes through, sucks it, fills up the accumulator tank. Here I'm using a three quarter inch, uh, I guess coupling, whatever you wanna call it, um, to thread from here to get it down to an adapter, I'm using a 3 8 inch uh, quick fit to um, 3 quarter inch threaded male on this side, okay? That's where I'm getting down into the system with the push fits that I want. So from there I'm going down, it's a 3 8 inch to quarter inch OD adapter, and then that's going down into my pressure gauge, right? And then from there it's the same as the other hookups or the other setups. I'm gonna get to my solenoid. The solenoid is going to be normally closed. So that means when it doesn't have power, it's going to be shut off, right? And what it gets power from is the recycle timer. You wanna make sure these near pals are really cheap and good to get on Amazon. You wanna make sure it goes down to one second on. Uh, I usually start with three seconds on every three minutes. During the whole grow, I never max uh, one second on. Uh, five minutes off. I don't go over that five minutes. Um, you can even go to 30 seconds, you know, every 30 sec or 30 seconds on uh, every five minutes, sometimes towards the end of the group. Matters on your system. So this goes to the wall. This is going to take the AC power and it's actually going to still use AC power because it's just a timer. Here is your adapter. Like I said, you can use a cell phone adapter, anything that's going to go AC to DC and 9 to 12 volts. If you hear your solenoid when it pops open or closes, if it's humming or it's making a screaming kind of noise or a squealing noise, that means you're not using enough power usually or you're pressurizing the system too much. These guys can only handle about 120 PSI. Um, so if it starts screaming, you know you don't have enough juice going to it. Um, and then it's the same. So after that, your solenoid opens up and then that goes out here to your misters. I made a fake one here, but here's a misting, mister chamber right here. So this is gonna go out and pressurize that from there. Um, so yeah, this is a, a easy uh, system to set up, but nowadays uh, with the pumps and the way everything is set up, for the amount of money you're going to pay for this setup and the, having to get this adapter and transformer and all this stuff, just go with the true HPA systems that, that we set up now um, because it's pretty much the, the same setup from there. It's just a different pump. Um, and these pumps, even though that they got everything inside of them, they just don't seem to last as long. Um, the heads seem to blow on me if I go with too much pressure and start blowing out water. Um, and they're really loud. 
Uh, I've taken a box, filled that box up with wood, like made a wood box, put that inside of another box, filled up the sides with spray foam, put foam all around that thing, and I could still hear it downstairs um, whenever it kicked on. So they're really loud. Like I said, they're for RVs, uh, marine, boat, uh, kind of things like that. So have fun. Good luck. Aeroponic growers. Future of farming.